feels like you're on the frontier, the wild east. There's probably tunnels inside the mountains here, everywhere. That's some dark clouds. Looks like a pretty massive storm. So it's time for dinner, gonna make something simple today, gonna take the leftover tikka masala from yesterday and turn it into a burrito, had some salad and some uh, peppers I think. Cheers, my friends. And here comes the rain. Time to close the mosquito door. That's pretty decent for a leftover dinner and uh, <laughs> my dinner view are reindeer all over here. That is so cool. So now that I'm at uh, Hamningberg, this is the furthest east and north you can get. I'm gonna start traveling west and north. You can still get further north. But uh, I'm gonna follow this coastline, all these uh, fjords and nooks and crannies that you get on the northern end of Europe up here. It's uh, quite extraordinary and uh, one of my favorite places in summer. So I'm gonna travel all these magical places towards the northwest now. So that's gonna be the next uh, month or so. 
and then uh, I'll go south to Lofoten probably and then uh, by the time I end my Lofoten trip I'll, it's probably time to go to the United States so it's gonna be a really cool summer up here I'm just really curious about the weather because that's always such a gamble the weather and also rain and storms seem to follow me so not much I can do about that so if you enjoy these videos it would mean a whole lot to me if you subscribed and liked the videos it really makes a big difference for my channel so thanks for doing that and I hope you enjoy the videos There is, of course, also dessert in the form of fruit, Finnish banana from Costa Rica. So right over here you have a fjord called Sultufjord. And basically it's just a few kilometers from here, but to get there you have to drive uh, like 250 kilometers around there. Or maybe 200 kilometers 150 miles uh, 120 miles I could see Polaris Hurtruten cruise ship out here, way, way, way out in the distance. And here comes the rain. <laughs> Always the rain.
morning. It's extremely windy today. As you can see from the curtain here. It's also a beautiful morning, so my solar panels are completely charged. And uh, the sun is out, but it's very windy, so no drone flying today. Battery is completely full because of the solar panels. Water is three quarters. That's where I usually fill it up to. And gray water is empty. So, yesterday I had to turn on the heater for a little bit. Got really cold. But today, the sun is baking the van. First, the most important meal of the day, coffee. Cheers, my friends. So today or tomorrow starts the tour that follows the coastline here up in the northern edge of the Arctic. Gonna follow that uh, towards the west since I'm now all the way in the east. You can see Russia from the other side here. Gonna be traversing the edge, northern edge of Arctic Europe. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be several weeks of this. I'm just gonna follow the beauty of the nature here and, and check out all the scenery in the Arctic. I think uh, instead of staying here in the wind for another day, I think I'm just gonna drive a little bit further to the south and start rounding this peninsula here. I have a couple of really cool spots that I, I wanna look at. So first let's 
drive through the town of Hamningberg. <laughs> the reindeers are just running through. End of the road. Really beautiful little town. I think it's mostly holiday homes now. I don't think people live here in winter because the road is closed.
Okay, I went into the center of uh, Varde and looks like there's an amazing camp spot here, right uh, by the sea. Feels a little bit more sheltered than out in Hamningberg and uh, there's quite a few other campers here, but they're all facing the opposite direction from what I want to be facing. So this is the view to the side and then we got this view out here. Here comes the Coast Guard. It's pretty cool.
It is now 1.20 in the morning. Here's the midnight sun. Looks like a pretty massive storm coming in. That's some dark clouds. Here comes that rain. This is gonna be massive, I have a feeling. I was gonna have a peaceful day of just editing a video and working here today and then this massive cloud came in and now it's just pouring down so I had to capture this it's been quite windy and uh, now it uh, kind of died down and this uh, big cloud came from from the north the wind has been coming from the south all along. <laughs> There's no end to the rain here. as well. And the Coast Guard is just staying 
in calm waters here. morning I spent a couple of days here just getting some work done and uh, watching ships and uh, midnight sun and enjoying this beautiful scenery here I'm gonna move on today I'm gonna go down to Watsa again and then continue north and west and check out all the nooks and crannies of the Arctic fjords up here most of them facing uh, north towards the North Pole which would be the next location across the sea. So let's uh, get moving. I spotted this uh, trail here. Uh, it goes to East Cap, and I guess that's the easternmost point you can get to out here. So it's a little bit tricky the first part, and the road is really, I'd say, a little bit scary in terms of sharp rocks, but it's no problem driving on it, we'll see how far I can get. This would of course be a great place to camp, so I'm going to put this in my maps for my patrons and my channel members, so you can see where it is. You can easily do it in a two-wheel drive and it uh, doesn't need to be high clearance either, but it's a little bit bumpy and there's a lot of sharp rocks, so gotta be careful. Anyway, I think I can close this loop and get down into this little town here. It's too early to camp, sadly. There's an old fort up here from World War II, I presume.
So we've got these reindeer here. And uh, I think that's actually Russia. In the background on the other side of the ocean. Out here is Russia, that's for sure. Way in the background there. Snowball cannon. Overlooking the ocean. This is the cannon that was stationed here. German cannon from World War II. It was used once. Shooting at seagulls, apparently. Got this bunker here. It's a battery, actually. This whole mountain. See these holes in the mountain? There's probably tunnels inside the mountains here, everywhere. With the Russian shore on the other side. I'm guessing that's East Cape. Very cool place up here. This is the ultimate uh, Arctic camp, but it's too early. It's only noon, so I gotta keep uh, moving on. Up here's that main cannon.
can see the shoreline on the other side of uh, the ocean here. That's 55 kilometers over to Russia. So we're driving straight ahead towards Russia now. A little bit more over here to the right is the Kirkenes and Grans Jakobsel area of Norway. Pretty awesome. What a place. This is a place I'm gonna come back to. Gonna make a pretty big note of that on my maps where this place is for my patrons and channel members. It might look like a four wheel drive road, but it's not so far. And I'm doing a loop now down to the town here. Looks doable. There's some uh, benches and trash cans up here as well. So clearly meant to be used this area. And if you have some good binoculars, you can look over towards Russia. It's a bit far for binoculars, I think, but it feels like you're on the frontier, that's for sure. The Wild East. This view. Incredible. Another cannon position. This might be the crux. It's a very sharp turn here, but I think that's gonna be fine. Yeah, no problem with the turn there. So the challenge is basically sharp rocks. I'm nearly down now, and uh, that's the one thing that's worried me is very sharp, pointy rocks. So I'm going like 10 kilometers an hour. Doing another little detour here to this little place out on this beautiful little peninsula here.
in Latza because they have public Wi-Fi here, so I can upload a video. It's pretty fast as well. And um, I was looking at my Peak Finder app, and I saw that these mountains out here at the very peak here. That's also in Russia, which is kind of funny that you can see that here from Batsa. Got a lens on my camera now that is 100 to 400 and I'm using crop mode, so this would be 600 millimeter reach here. Yeah, here would be Kansiakovsev, 